Good afternoon, welcome to Arms Apris. Right, for 2021, this is our third location for a hive. Um, we're in Detlin. Uh, friend, a couple of friends of mine, Jordan and Amy, uh, interested in keeping bees. And fortunately for them, they actually had a hive, um, a colony of bees in their chimney. We did a hive cut out from about there. So what better way to save the colony but to take it out of the chimney and put it into their own hive. And so we're, here we are going to be here every week uh, checking these out. So these are a feral colony, um, obviously they've been in, in the house for a few years. Uh, the hive was bigger than we first expected. Uh, a lot of bees, hell of a lot of bees. So currently all crammed inside that brew box. So this week is our first inspection of the colony. Um, because there were so many bees in the cutout, we couldn't find the queen. So, number one important thing today is to look for the queen, hopefully. Um, hopefully we got her last week. If not, they've got, we saved plenty of uh, eggs and brood and larvae and that. So hopefully, if we didn't save the queen, there should be a few queen cells in there because they'll be rearing their own queen. But they are very active. There is a lot of bees inside. So we need to certainly add a super. I know that for certain give them a bit of room um, so yeah this will be their first inspection as well for Jordan and Amy as well so they're all suited up and prepared just out of shot there um, so yeah so obviously Jordan helped me with the cutout last week and Amy stood by and little little Emily helped me with the uh, BVAC she's not here today unfortunately um, so yeah their first main inspection of their own hive and especially their own colony that come out of their own house it's even better so yeah, so let's uh, get the smoker going and we'll uh, have a look in this feral hive. So one of the first things you need to do is when you lift this up, because you've got no queen excluded under there, turn it over on top of the hive and look to see if the queen's on it. First place you look. No, full standard bees. Let's just put that down. Give them 
cut the paths. Yeah. <laughs> right, so obviously still all the main frames that we put in from last week. What you tend to do is start from the outside. With this hook one, yeah. hook it, pull it. Lift it straight out, straight up as you come. Now obviously that's foundation, they haven't touched it yet. But what you do with the brew box, always double check it, make sure the queen's not on it. And then what you tend to do is just stand it in front of the hive like that. And then what they'll do, they'll crawl up and stuff like that. So now you've given yourself working room, yeah? So your next frame, pull out, mm -hmm. have a quick look. They've almost started to draw it out. What do they do with that? This, they draw it out. So they'll create the wax, and then this is foundation, so it just gives them a starting block, yeah. and they'll just draw the wax out from that. In there, twist it. Because over a period of time, this will just get sealed up with propolis and wax, and these won't move. So you have to get in there and give it a bit of a twist. Now, just sensing the hive, they're very calm. Which tells me there's possibly a queen in there somewhere. If it's queenless, they'd be roaring, they'd be buzzing, you will notice the difference. And they'd be very erratic. But at the moment, they seem quite calm. So with a frame, pull it straight up. You asked me a question about rolling it. So yeah, don't go like that, or like that. You pull it straight up, yeah? That's it. So what we do, tilt the frame over away from you, have a quick look. And what is she a lot bigger? She will be a lot bigger, a lot longer. Come closer. Now that, you can tell from this frame it's all stores. Cat nectar, cat honey underneath that. So that. So you know the queen's not going to be on that because she won't be laying eggs in it because it's nothing but stores. So you don't need to worry about that. So the next one, the next one's got brood on it. This is all cat young brood, young bees in there. So that's slowly changing from eggs, from larvae to pupa. So what you need to look for is eggs. Where you find eggs, you generally find the queen. But in order to find eggs, you've got to look for them first. And at the moment, there aren't any. So that one goes back in there. So like this one. Right, that's for the stores. Put some brood on the end now. That's got stores on it too. She's not laying. Yeah, so what we'll do is probably swap those over. The stores generally on the outside, brood in the middle. Right, so we've got a young brood there. Can't really see any eggs. There she is. Right there in the middle. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. She looks like a cockroach. <laughs> So what you do, you just surround her, like that, and there's your queen. I can't believe it. So there, she should be... Right, there's two methods of clearing a frame from bees. Shake it, down in the box, or we'll use a brush. We'll use a brush for now. You will get a few bees come up in the air, you just so you can there. see. Yeah. Right, yeah, see, I can see eggs in the bottom of those. You saw eggs last time, yeah. did you? In the bottom of here. Oh, yeah. yeah. So against a dark background, it's a lot easier. So now we've found the queen. We leave her in there for now, and we finish our inspection. Yes, yeah. 
you reckon it'll get much bigger than this? Oh, yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot bigger. A lot bigger. Mm. Right, let's go mark the queen so we can see her next time. Right. The idea is, if you take that, so I'm going to try and put the queen in now. Does she have a sting? Uh, yes, they do have a sting. If she stings, does she die like a normal bee? No. Like, she gets angry and starts to try and sting, then they've lost their Right, pain. so you gently push her up to there. Right on the back of her head, back of her thorax. Keep still. Mm. Start to the camp. Do like a picture of a queen. There she is. Go. Does she always stay down in the frame? Yes. That's why it's, it can be tricky to see a queen. As soon as you pull that frame out into the light, she's gone. Into yeah. the darkest spot possible. So if she's on that side, they say the best way to spot a queen is to go around the outside first. Work your way in. Because as soon as she comes out in the light, she'll go around the back because it's a bit darker. Because you've got the frame like that. Um, so yeah, they'll always go into the dark. So, Queen's in there, we're happy with that. That's it. Good. First inspection done. Thank so, you. bees have got more room now to move up to because they've got a lot of, lot of nurse bees and worker bees all huddled in this area. There's not much room for the Queen to lay. But now, a lot of the bees can come up here and start working up here. And as brood emerges from down here, it gives the queen more room to lay. So the bees are spread out. They should start drawing out the, the comb that we took out of the hive. They'll start drawing it out and making it bigger in the frames. So then, that will also give the queen more room to lay into. So yeah. Good stuff. Right, brilliant. Inspection's done of the ferrule hive. Um, we found the queen, fantastic. So we did get her last week. Um, yeah, she's a big queen, so she's already laying in what there is left. We saved a lot of the comb from last from last week as well, so there's plenty of brood in there. But yeah, she's laying in what space she can. So we've given them a super on top, because there's a lot of bees in there, so they've got a lot of loafing room to move, maneuver around. And yeah, they're very happy actually. For a feral colony, since the first time I went up there, I got stung straight away. Um, yeah, they're very happy and content in their new hive. And especially there's a queen in there, so brilliant. Um, if you're wondering what all the fencing is as well, there's a pesky badger. Um, he's already been at the hive. Um, so we've had to put some precautions in, because he's been trying to get in under the gate now as well. So, you know, once they get a taste of honey, everyone wants a bit. But yeah, brilliant first inspection, especially for a Jordan and Amy as well. They didn't run off, scared, which is good. So, 
yeah thank you very much for watching um, if you like this video hit the like button and we'll be up here again next week thank you very much take care